Good morning, people. How are you doing on this beautiful, cool morning? Oh, loving it. That humid heat has been a killer the last couple of days, hey? Oh my gosh, I'm not looking forward to summer because I hate sweating. I usually go bright red, but now that I'm older, I actually sweat as well. And I hate when you're trying to put your makeup on and you might as well not bother because it's just bloody falls off. Like it just doesn't stick to your face because it's so wet, right? And I mean, this face needs makeup, right? Anyways, besides the point, we actually went out for dinner last night to celebrate a family member's 50th and got talking around the table as you do. And of course, people always bring up these silly videos that I like to make all the time that you can all relate to. And we were talking about the subject. They actually asked me to make a video on how our kids, when they're hungry, especially when they're teenagers, right, they're like, oh, mom, want something to eat? What's there to eat? And you go, oh, look, just look in the fridge. Like, there's heaps of food in the fridge. And there is. There's stacks of food in the fridge, in the pantry, in the house. I mean, especially my house. Like, my kids rip me off because I'm like a freaking doomsday prepper, mate. Like, I overload on how much food is in the house. Like, yeah, I I've got enough food here to probably last us the next couple of months if the shop's shut down. Because I don't know why, but I just do. And I suppose there's lots of times where I've seen a recipe and I think, oh, yeah, I'll make that. And I buy the ingredients, shove them in the pantry, then I'll forget all about them. And I've got this pantry food full of unused food. And I was only saying to my niece the other day, like, I actually had a clean out of my pantry the other day. and oh, Not the other day, but a few months back. And I'm checking the dates, right? I threw out fucking five grocery bags full of outdated stuff. Now, this is the person that used to rip off her poor mother for having one or two packets or cans of outdated food in their pantry. But I mean, my mum is amazing at it. Like you'd get something out of the pantry and it'd be about 10 years out of date. Like I kid you not. And guess what? I'm getting as good as her. So sorry, mum. Don't ever pick on your mothers because you end up just like them and you end up talking just like them. You think, oh shit, I'm turning out like mum or I'm turning out like dad. But anyway, getting back to our beautiful children, like, yeah, how about when they want something to eat and it's like, yeah, there's a house full of food and they open the fridge and it's like, there's nothing there. And you think to yourself, listen, you little fuck, just take a bit of effort and prepare something. But no, our children don't want to have to make the effort. They just want to grab and go, you know? And I suppose we all a bit like that sometimes, aren't we? It's not just our poor kids. Like, sometimes you're hungry and you just want something that's easy to pick up and grab and go, you know? Like this pear, for instance, like grab and go. But it's too freaking healthy. It's no good for you. You need some chocolate. So you grab your chocolate bar, you snap it off, you grab it, and you just go, mate. Anyway, that was the wonderful uh, discussion that we had. And they want me to make one on two-minute noodles. Like, I was saying to them how everyone's always asking me to keep making these videos. And I've got no idea what to make them about. Like, I just, something will come to me and I'll go, oh, yeah, I'll make one of those stupid videos, you know, just to give everyone a laugh. But, yeah, if you've got any ideas on what I should make an idiot video about that we can all relate to because we're all actually idiots then let me know, okay? Anyway, enjoy your day. Love yous heaps. And thank you so much to our friends last night. I always love catching up with you guys and having a good old chinwag. All right, guys, catch you later. Bye.